welcome to Riverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, <laughs> how the honk are you? Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, I got a one off Wednesday for you. Uh, if you checked out, um, and we'll probably tag it at the end, Saturday's video, which was from, uh, let's flash that real quick here. Quincy Magoo's School of 124 Scale Drivers. Uh, I bought this from him, and um, boy, oh boy, it is a beauty. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So that's what we're going to talk about today uh, on a one of Wednesday. Now, if you guys have been following me at all on uh, Roverland, uh, you know, the channel is anything and everything Land Rover, and... Um, yeah, your friend Dano, yeah, he collects Land Rovers, big and small, small and big, but I also do collect vinyl, <laughs> that's right, vinyl, and here's my vinyl collection, I can't even show it all, I got this huge big case, it's huge, see how that, I got a couple, I, I got everything squashed down here so we can kind of see it, but uh, I do collect vinyl. Yeah, Land Rovers. <laughs> so let's, uh, it's been a while since I uh, talked about uh, my vinyl collection. And so let's do that really quick, all right? Well, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this one here. This is from um, Plasto. It's vinyl PVC Plasto made in Finland. And actually, you can kind of see that right in there. Now, Plasto was founded in 1954, and uh, Eland Islands is way, where they uh, uh, manufacture this. And I'm trying to get this. Let's get this in focus. Focus here. Focus. All right. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, so these are from the 1960s, 1970s is... Uh, uh, where they come from, but and, and I'm not really sure how they came to the states. Uh, I, you know, it's it's hard to say. I don't know if these were through Sears or um, Woolworths or or what or how they were really sold. If they were in a box or if they were sold loose like this, I really don't have much uh, information. And maybe some of you guys can. Uh, fill me in on how these came to the states or did they just you know like come over as souvenirs you know were they were they mass sold here in stores or were they um just each one of these pieces brought over to the states uh by family and friends or whatever or whatever you know i i'm not really sure um how they get to the states anyway um, I'm not really sure if, uh, Plasto is still in business or not. I, I couldn't really tell. Uh, this here bugger is in, uh, like 143rd scale. Uh, let's just take a peek here. So, um, almost, uh, three and a half inches, um, you know, or, uh, nine millimeters, something like that. Yeah. So pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn cool. Let's oh, let's go this way here too as well. Yeah, let's go this way here as well, huh? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So it's not a, it's not a big toy, but it's pretty neat. Uh, they say uh, I looked up uh, Plasto on the internet, and uh, they say you know, hey, where our simple toys leave a lot to uh, be able to imagine and create your own, you know, uh, world, you know, so. Yeah, so there you go. They do a lot more than just the Range Rover, obviously. But uh, yeah, I, I also saw a green one of these. Uh, it's not only just in red, green. Uh, the other thing that I want to do uh, tell you is that the Plasto does do another Range Rover. Um, I think it's a little bit bigger than this. It, it has bigger wheels, it looks like more sturdier type wheels. These here are kind of uh, uh, just a pressed vinyl as well. The other ones seem to be like plastic, uh, more hardier. Uh, and then it's a bigger Range Rover, still a two-door, and they do a lot more variations. <laughs> very, very, 
lots, lots more. Very, very much so. Um, and the, one of the distinct things is uh, the other model has, uh, instead of the grill being um, indented, the grill is um, raised out. So everywhere there, there's a grill mark here that's indented. The, the, the later model, I would assume, is uh, raised out. So there you go. All right, so there we go. That's Plasto. That was the uh, latest, the greatest addition uh, to my uh, collection. Um, so one of the other uh, vinyl companies that I have, and I, I took this off from uh, out of the uh, frame there, Vinyl, vinyl Line. Land Rover. Now these are from uh, made in uh, uh, West Germany, and so uh, uh, three three colors there. Well, that I have, and uh, yeah, yellow, blue, and green. So yeah, that's a West Germany company, and that's uh, Vinyl Line is the call the the name of that, and that's uh, named a Land Rover is what that's called. Very. Very, very cool. Let's take a quick peek of this. We haven't seen these, uh, so let's just take a quick peek of these. Very, very nice. I like these. Do you guys uh, have a vinyl collection? Yeah, they're, they're really kind of cool. <laughs> really kind of cool. So uh, the next ones I have here uh, that I'm going to pull down is um, this one is made in... Uh, Thailand, uh, Taiwan, Taiwan, Land Rover, number nine. So this one um, is uh, Miracle Mart is the brand name as far as what I could find. Miracle Mart, and it's a Land Rover pickup. Uh, same same uh, 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 scale, 143rd scale. So these uh, have no really other other than that number nine and made in thai thailand they have no manufacturing uh uh cues to them you know but uh really kind of cool seems like they're all series ones these uh these trucks but uh very kind of cool like i say, I, I love collecting these these are really kind of neat uh really kind of cool so I've got two of those. Here's another one that I've got. Now this one, this one here is a little gummy. So I'm, he's a tow truck, uh, really primitive. Um, but that vinyl has gotten a little gummy. So I'm gonna put him back down and we're gonna take a look at the blue one. But the blue one is not a tow truck. It's a regular uh, series one pickup. Really kind of cool. And now this one is, um, Oh yeah, the LKE production, Denmark. Denmark, so really kind of cool there. That kind of neat. Uh, I got a, like I say, a green one there that's a tow truck and then a uh, blue one pickup. So two different, obviously two different uh, uh, molds because this one's got the headlight, uh, bubble gums on the top and uh, the tow. And then the last one we're going to take a look at is this one here. I got a lot of these, uh, per se. Uh, two two um, variations. This is number 23. And this is the... the uh, Staval... Uh, how do you say that? Stavanger. Excuse me. Stavanger. Uh, Norway. Norway. Oh, and this guy's missing his head. Let's take it. So I got an orange one and a blue one of this. They stick one up on the hood there. Uh, very cool little guy back there. I don't know what is he holding a tool chest of some sort. I'm not really sure. But this is number 23. And uh, if we get in focus there, yeah, Stavanger, Stavanger, Norway. It says on there. But very kind of cool. Very shiny. Uh, this is the way I got it. I didn't put anything on this to make it shiny, but a very shiny vinyl there. And uh, so there's the pickup with the little dude, and then I have um, two of them with the uh, uh, open top, and this one's kind of gooey, but uh, missing some parts. Uh, so let's take a look at this nice orange one. It's got the windshield on there, very nice. Got the dude in there with his dog and a milk can in there, spare tire. 
And uh, so this was what? This one's number 18. Da da! 18. And I think it says somewhere on there that this is also that uh, Stilvain, Stilvanger uh, from Norway. So, yeah. Yeah, my research, I, I found this one out. Although this was kind of just another one, different one. Is that the same? Yeah. But still. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Do you guys got any of these buggers? These, this is... Uh, this is a big, huge uh, case that I that I uh, that I have, and uh, just really cool. So now I've got a Range Rover to put in the uh, display, and uh, I keep a it's a glass covered uh, display, and and really kind of cool. So uh, it was really kind of cool that I I picked this up from Frank for not much money. Um, these these buggers can get kind of spendy, so. Yeah, uh, it's nice to add to the vinyl collection. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Let me know if you've got any uh, vinyl in your collection. And uh, show me some pictures, uh, especially uh, you guys uh, across the pond. Uh, and if you could really, uh, if you could help me out, are these uh, souvenirs that made their way over here to the States? Or are they, uh, were they sold at uh, different stores? I'd really like to hear uh, how these were sold. I mean, uh, were they targeted for uh, toddlers and, to you know, younger people? Uh, not really, you know, ages 10 and up? Uh, or were they kind of a, a toddler thing? So, all right. Well, that's going to be it for today for One Up Wednesday. Thank you for joining me today. What a beautiful piece. This is your friend Dano gonna get out of here make sure you give me a big thumbs up and uh subscribe hit the notification bell uh hit the like button yeah a big thumbs up share if you can come on over to facebook to roverland facebook page and instagram kind of something goofy going on with instagram lately but instagram at roverland channel all right i'm out of here thank you very much for watching and as always Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.